Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about QR codes, what it is, why it is useful and how it works. QR stands for quick response and it is a type of matrix barcode, a two-dimensional code. It was developed by a Japanese company called Denso Wave in 1994. It has become popular recently due to its fast readability and large storage capacity. Apart from that, it has the following advantages over barcode. It can store four different data types. It has error correction capability. It can be scanned in any direction. All you need is a QR code and a scanner. You can generate your own QR code using free QR code generator websites. You can use the QR code generator at my site. Just follow this link or scan this QR code. Once you have the QR code ready, the user, maybe your potential customer, will use their smartphone or QR code scanner to scan the code. You can get an app for your smartphone or buy a QR code scanner. The user will be either shown the info or asked if they want to go to a URL depending on the data contained. QR codes can be used for a lot of things. People have only begun using it so we don't quite know how much its use can be extended. Some of its uses are contact cards, links to your websites, check-ins, sign-ups, links to details of product displayed in the shops, links to websites for ads on TV. Do let us know if you can think of better uses in the comment section. First off is the version information. Version basically means the size of the code. Version 1 is the smallest code with 21 by 21 pixel blocks or modules. Version 40 is the biggest with 177 by 177 modules. Format information has two key information in it. Error correction level and marks pattern. QR codes has four different levels of error correction easy for short and can recover up to 30% of the data that cannot be read. However, the more the easy level, the less space it has for the data. Masking is used to break up patterns in the data area that might confuse the scanner, such as large blank areas or misleading features that look like locator marks. This is where all the data, error corrections and the marks lie. Depending on the version, data type and EC level news, the storage capacity may vary. These are maximum that can be stored in a QR code. This is how the scanner sees the code. The encoding begins from the bottom right and the rest is placed from right to left in a zigzag pattern. But it is complicated by alignment patterns, marks and EC blocks. These are like the framework of QR codes. The biggest three patterns enables scanners to identify the QR code and its position. Alignment pattern enables QR code scanners to correct the distortion when the code is bent or curved. Timing pattern. White and black modules pixel elements are alternately arranged to determine the coordinate. Space left around the QR code for optimal readability. So that's it for now. Do comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.